Hello everyone. Well, today I want to talk about getting the proper back focus using my Celestron Edge 8 with the Celestron 0.7 focal reducer and the ZWO filter drawer. Now there's been a lot of good videos recently on back, back focus using a filter wheel or not using it with the Celestron Edge 8, but with the Celestron 9.25, 11, and 14, and all that stuff. And these videos were done by Cody from Astro Blender, Weedo from Astro Forum, and Joe from Joe's Astro Photo. They've done some really good videos, but they didn't really uh, do the, uh, the this particular setup that I have. And there is some quirkiness that goes along with it, there were, there's no information on how to do it with Celestron nor ZWO. They, they don't address this issue, and I'll show you what the problem is in a second. I am Kurt Zapatello, and you're watching Astro Quest 1. All right, so let me just show you, uh, give you an outline of what's going on on the computer first, and I'll go back to the showing you live here. So here's the Edge 8, here's the 9.25, the Western 11, and the Edge 14. Here's the back focus at F, its native F10. For the C8, it's 133, uh, 9 through 14, it's 146 millimeters. Now with the focal reducer, it turns it into an F7, and the C8, the Edge 8, goes down to 105 millimeters of back focus, but the 9.25 through 14, they all stay at 146. So that's a good plus for the uh, edge, the larger ones. Now the T adapters for each one of these things. The T adapter, the length for the C8 is gonna be 50 millimeters. And the nine through 14 is 91 millimeters. And what you're left with after the T adapter, your remaining back focus is 55 millimeters for all of them. So that's how this works. Now, the one other thing, difference between these T adapters, aside from their length, is the thickness, the width. The outer diameter of the T adapter for the C8 T adapter is 44 millimeters, and these other ones, it's much larger. I think it's like 60 millimeters or something like that. Not, not exactly sure. So here's what I'm going to do. So you have your ASI 294 or the 1600. Here's where the sensor is. The sensor six sits 6.5 millimeters back inside the face of the camera. You, you're gonna use the 11 millimeter spacer that comes with the camera. Then we're gonna use this ZWO two inch filter drawer, and that's 21 millimeters in diameter, or thickness, excuse me. You're gonna use the 16.5 millimeter spacer that comes with the camera, and you're gonna connect that up to the Celestron T adapter. And in my case, for the Celestron Edge 8, it's 50 millimeters. And if you add up all that, you get the magic 105 millimeters. Now, not shown on this little diagram here are three other critical pieces of things that you're gonna need. And these are the M42, M48 adapter rings. Those are spacer rings that takes the threads from 48 millimeters down to 42 millimeters. ASI gives you one with the camera, so you're gonna need to get two more. They're not too expensive either. They're 12 to $15 for each one, which in astrophotography land, that's not too bad at all. Okay, let's go back to doing this thing live. Okay, here's all the parts. So you've got your MC294 camera, along with the 11 millimeter spacer that's attached, filter drawer, 16.5 millimeter spacer, T adapter, and this is the Celestron Edge T adapter, which is number 93644. Although you can use the other one, it doesn't matter. And this is our focal reducer. Lastly, we have our three magic M42, M48 adapters. Now, one, only one of them comes with the camera. So these other two, I just happen to have because I use these things all the time. They're actually not terribly expensive. They're only about... 12 to 15 dollars and so I, I use these things all the time so I fortunately I have them so let me show you what the problem is and I'll show you how to fix the problem so you have your focal reducer and you want to attach the T adapter to that Oops. carefully 
<laughs> okay, so that's no problem. The next thing I you want to do is you want to attach your spacer onto this T adapter, but you can't do it because it's a M48 outer rings here. So you have this is where you have to use your M42 to M48 rings or adapters. Excuse me, I called it the wrong thing. So you put this thing on here carefully. And when you do that, now you can add your spacer and you would think everything would be perfect. But look at that, it slides in here, but it slides further in than it needs to be. Remember, you want 105 millimeters of backspace from the edge of the focal reducer to, your, to where the camera sensor and this thing, the T adapter, was 50 millimeters. And then you would have had to add the 16.5 for the spacer. But the spacer, it sat further in because from where it connected, because the ring, if, I don't know if you can see this ring, the ring is sitting farther in here. It's not flush at the end of where it, sh where it should be. So that's where I'm saying that the problem is. So you're gonna be like five millimeters off or however, thick the uh, however thick that spacer is what you can do is you can take another adapter and stick that and insert that into the spacer and that boy doesn't that that sits flush right against the um, the edge of the surface the, the edge of that spacer and now you can now you can just install this thing onto the uh sit the center sorry about that <laughs> there we go to set it on there correct you want to you don't want to force the threads on there otherwise you might have a problem so there we go so now it's sitting flush at the edge and you need a third m42 m48 adapter because the other side the, the side of this filter drawer is also m48 i think i was talking about before and that's not going to sit on the edge of the spacer so that's why you have to have three of these things Stick that on here, and now this thing just sits right on here. Okay. Okay. Well, now I'm going to do it uh, for real onto the telescope. Okay. Well, let me show you how to do it in, uh, in putting it on the actual telescope. First off, we're going to take the the visual T adapter off, and we're going to put the focal reducer. And we'll take the cover plate off. There we go. Next, the T adapter. Screws right onto this. When I did it carefully, I don't want to strip the threads or anything like that. Okay. Look it up. Now I'm going to put the first, the first O-ring into this thing, and actually I'm going to do it in such a way that uh, Cody recommended this. Actually, Cody from Master Blender. You see how there's grooves on these little adapters. You want to have them so the the grooves are pointing outwards, so in case they get stuck in, in case they get stuck in here, you can get them out with the adjustable wrench. Otherwise, it, you might be in. Uh, if they get stuck in here, you're it's pretty tough to get them out. <laughs> I've done it before. Trust me. So if you want to, and we'll do the same with the other one. Again, being very careful, ensure that the the grooves are pointing outwards, so you can. So you can grab them with a wrench if you need be. Okay, and then we just put that onto here. Okay, there we go. And then we're ready for the filter drawer. And last, we put the camera on. Okay, there we have it. 
I should mention one other person who was really helpful with this, and that was Patrick Sutton from High Point Scientific. I was back and forth emailing him for a couple weeks regarding this uh, situation, so he was uh, very helpful with this. And I believe that's all. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.